This is Flying Scotsman, described as the most famous locomotive in the world. In the summer of 2004, the loco was used to haul a number of steam specials from York to Scarborough, and hundreds of admirers gathered to witness the inaugural run. During its working life, York was a familiar station for Flying Scotsman, as it was used to haul express services from London to Edinburgh. The locomotive has the distinction of being the first steam engine to achieve an authenticated speed of 100 miles per hour. In 1963, Flying Scotsman might have been scrapped if it hadn't been for the foresight of Alan Pegler who bought the engine for £3,000. After travelling to the United States and other countries, there was a threat of the Scotsman being sold overseas, but following a public appeal, this famous locomotive was saved for the nation in April 2004. It didn't quite go to plan on the first run to Scarborough, as, due to a problem in York, the train was late in leaving, but the passengers didn't seem to mind, and the train got a fine welcome in the East Coast Resort. Flying Scotsman was built in Doncaster in 1923 at a cost of £7,944 and is now worth over £2 million. Richard Whiteley of Yorkshire Television was on hand as a special guard for the day and spent a lot of time having his picture taken with passengers. After an overhaul, Flying Scotsman will be maintained as a flagship operational locomotive in the National Collection at the National Railway Museum in York, home to other great treasures from the steam age, such as Mallard, Duchess of Hamilton, and this working replica of Stevenson's rocket. During the summer of 2004, the engine travelled more than 5,000 miles, used around 100 tonnes of coal, and each day pulled a train of 11 coaches with a total weight of 450 tonnes. Not bad for an 81-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> 